This one is called the spider monkey. I've seen a couple different variations of this move, some that are done from an outside leg hang. This one is gonna be done more from like a figure four layback, or I'm gonna be doing it from a stargazer entrance. Um, the entrance that is from a outside leg hang, you have a lot more thigh hold, definitely a less scary version. It might also have another name. Hard to keep up with all the names. So, like I said, there might be a couple different moves that you might be thinking of as spider monkey, but this one's gonna go from a figure four layback-ish or a stargazer position. So for this one, there's going to be some serious grippage needed with a knee and all down your thigh, okay? You don't have to wear itty bitty booty shorts so you have more shorts, more booty on the pole. If you want to, go for it, but obviously my booty's not sticking out very much. I'm still able to hold it, okay? So you can go lots of booty and use that to your advantage or not, but don't feel like you have to change your shorts if you don't want to. So for this one, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna start from a stargazer. Grip with this inside knee. I find the stargazer kind of helps put it in that position. You can also start with a figure four. I just like the stargazer one better. And if you're super bendy, you can make that a super bendy stargazer and then go into this one. So once you've got the stargazer position, which is the opposite hand to leg, the free leg and the free arm are then gonna connect. So to fully extend that free leg, it is definitely gonna take some hamstring and adductor flexibility, okay? So if you have to plan accordingly for which is your better, more flexy leg, this is the time to pause and think about that. But that being said, um, you can grab differently. I do find with this move to be able to take that leg around straight. Flexibility-wise, I'm capable of grabbing it but I do find that in this particular position, if I do take that leg around straight, I don't get it behind my shoulder as much, which is partially because the pole is there, okay? So I do find, at least for me personally, and it could be maybe, you know, over time playing around with it, maybe I'll start to wiggle into it a little bit more on a more grippy day, but I find if I grab the leg with it bent and then extend, I get a much better extension with it, okay? So it's gonna grab, and how you grab the leg, personal preference, but, when we do go, go, go to grab that second leg, I'm gonna go thumb towards me and I'm gonna grab ankle-ish. Try not to grab your foot. Um, if you grab your foot, what tends to happen is it tends to make a sickle. It also kind of breaks up your lines. So if you can, go for that ankle, okay? So I'm gonna grab my ankle either with the thumb wrapped in a true grip or in a cup grip, whichever you prefer. Sometimes I grab one way, sometimes I grab the other. It's whichever you feel most comfortable with. And then from there, as I extend that leg, there's an upper back engagement of sticking my chest out. Okay, so with all those little tidbits in mind, let's begin. So gonna start from fig four, you don't have to go super high. Ooh, side note, primary note, with this move, as always, make sure you're being safe, okay? I'm demoing on spin just because the pole happens to be on spin, and those of you that know me love a, know that I love a good spin pole. Um, but make sure that you have a spotter, mats underneath you, because this one is a head down position, which means if you do happen to slide, it's a little hard to grab and catch yourself. So always safety first, make sure that you're being careful as you're working on new moves, okay? So I'm taking it a climb. And I'm taking one knee up nice and high, getting it all the way in that little knee pit and sliding back into my stargazer. If you want to make this flashy, bendy, whatever, do you. When I'm ready, I'm going to release that bottom leg so it comes through. Okay? Now, from here, I'm going to start to lay back. And this is the part where I said, I prefer to bend this leg. And then I'm going to extend. And then coming on up. Take it to whatever shape sees you want coming out of it. Can you tell it was totally sliding down the pole? <laughs> Some days are more slippy than others. So there is a trust moment when you go to grab with that second leg, especially if you're feeling like it's not the grippiest of days. Like I said, I don't know if you could tell, I had a little elevator action going on while I was in that, but I was trusting my knee pad and being like, yeah, it's slippy, but okay. But I've also done the move a few times enough to know that my grip was enough that I wasn't gonna come off. I was just gonna make a slow slide out of it, okay? So make sure that you first feel super solid with this knee before you go to the second grab, okay? Something when you go for that second grab. Our tendency when things get scary in pull, in life, some of you probably heard me say this before, is our tendency is to wanna do this, 
because it's scary, okay? With this move, when you go to grab that leg, the tendency is to kind of, oh gosh, I'm sliding. And trust me, I have to fight that urge too. But what's actually gonna increase this thigh hold, all this going on the pole, is when you go to grab that second leg, do this, okay? A, that's gonna get the leg through, and in doing that, it's gonna push your butt back into the pole more, okay? So, this is the spider monkey. Try it on spin, try it on static, try it safely, play around with it, put it in a combo, a photo shoot, whatevs, have some fun with it, let me know how it goes. If it turns you have another name for this move, please let me know, because trust me, I can't keep up with all the names.